Hello! On behalf of Poker Tracker 4, I'd like to thank you for your trial or your purchase of this incredible software. My name is Sky Matsuhashi of SmartPokerStudy.com and I'll be your guide through the seven day orientation. These seven days will help to quickly acclimate you to Poker Tracker 4. I'm going to show you the most important and useful features of this program, the things that my students and I use this for on a daily basis to improve our online poker skills. This is day one, site configuration. Let's do this. A quick itinerary for this video. First, this video and the rest of the seven day orientation series, they are do as you consume videos. The idea is that you're watching this on the same computer where you have Poker Tracker 4 installed. The program is up and running, and as you're watching this video, you're clicking along right with me because action is the greatest teacher. The first thing we're going to cover is Poker Site Settings. I'll help you turn on the Save Hand History feature of whatever Poker Site you play on. And we will go through the Poker Tracker 4 site configuration next, and we'll do it the simple way with the Setup Assistant. I'll also show you how to turn on the Get Hands While Playing feature so you can start to develop that database of hands and utilize the HUD while you're playing. Speaking of the HUD, I'll give you a little HUD or heads up display introduction and I'll be showing you the default Poker Tracker 4 HUD. And I'll show you where to find statistical information to start building your stat knowledge. Lastly, I'll give you an action step at the end of the video to prepare you for tomorrow's video. So let's make sure your poker site software is saving hand histories to your computer. Uh, I play on America's Cards Room, which is part of the Winning Poker Network. Now, whatever sites you play on, you can probably configure the hand history settings in the exact same way. Find your site's setting tab. And then somewhere in, the, um, in among the settings, you'll find hand histories. Click on that, make sure Hand Histories is turned on. Write down or remember that destination folder because you're going to need it in the next step. Now, these are some of the other uh, site-specific settings that you can do. Take a look at those if you want. But for our purposes today, for Poker Tracker 4, this is all that we need. Turn them on, write this down, hit OK. Now your poker site is saving every hand that you play directly to your computer. Now that we know your poker site is saving hands to your computer, it's time to configure Poker Tracker 4 to start pulling those hands so that you develop a Poker Tracker 4 database so you can start learning from your statistics, your win rates, and the hands that you've played. So when you first open Poker Tracker 4, you're going to be on the community tab right here. Plenty of information, things that you can click on, lots of different support options. But scroll down right now and go to Site Configuration Guides. Now remember, this is a do-as-you-consume video, so you should be clicking along with me. You can click on whatever site that you play on for some additional site configuration information to really understand this entire process. But I'm going to help you the quickest and easiest way to set things up. Up here under Tools, Setup Assistant. Click on that. And now you can configure your currency, the sites, the themes all these various things. But what we're really concerned with right now is configuring sites. So go ahead and click on this. Now you're gonna turn on whatever sites that you play on. And I play on all of these right here, but for now, Winning Poker Network, this is the one that we're gonna be looking at. Click Next once you turn it on. And it'll take you through a three-step process. If you have multiple sites turned on, it'll be like step one of five, step one of seven, step one of 10, depending on how many sites you're gonna set up right now. But this is, like I said, the quickest and easiest way. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is set up the hand history directory. You can see this is the same thing as it was before, but if nothing pops up here when you see this page, just click auto detect, and it's gonna find that hand history. Now. If you saved it in a very specific spot, like you didn't go by the default America's Cards Room or whatever site, you're going to click Add and then Browse for that hand history right here. Once you find it and it's entered in, hit Next. Now you're going to do your preferred seeding. And the, the reason you do this is so that the HUD knows exactly where to put you. So in your poker site software, maybe on the nine table, the full ring tables, 
you want to sit right here. You're going to set poker tracker four up to be right here. Um, if you choose to sit at the bottom, just click on that, right? Just make sure it matches what your poker sites setup is as well. Do that for all of the different options that you have for the various tables. And now this one import option. So poker tracker will attempt to import existing hand history. So maybe you've been playing on your site for 10, 20, a hundred thousand hands already, right? You probably want to import your existing hand history so you can already develop that database to start looking through and learning from your play. So turn that on. Yes. Move files after import, turn that on. Yes. You've got your main database right here and just hit. Okay. Now for you, if this is the first time you've been using poker tracker for first time hands are being imported into it, this might take a few minutes for you. As you can see, I've been using poker tracker for a long time. Uh, the hands have already been importing as I'm playing. So for me, there's nothing. And now we are set up and configured. We're done and ready to start playing. Now that your site's configured, you're ready to begin playing. You're going to turn on the get hands while playing feature. Very simple. Go to play poker, get hands while playing, turn that on. So you could see under import status, some information starts to pop up as you're playing each individual hand. It will show that it's being imported. This is how you know, uh, as you're playing, whether or not poker tracker four is accessing the database properly right here. All right, so let's start your HUD or heads up display education. You have the get hands while playing feature turned on. And then so you're playing poker. And then after just one hand dealt, the heads up display pops up on your table. Now, remember, this is a do as you consume video. So please, if you're playing right now, follow along on your actual table of play. But if you're not playing, you're going to have to open up any prior hand within the hand replayer. And let me show you quickly how to do that. You are on the community tab right now. Go to view stats. Hopefully when you configured your site just a few steps ago, you actually imported a few different hands. Find any hand, doesn't matter, random hand, right click and hit replay hand. That's going to bring up the hand within the hand replayer for you to start viewing. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is, well, once the HUD pops up, it's going to pop up in its default position. Uh, and then you'll want to move the panels around so that you're not covering any table elements like the button right here or any bet sizes that your opponents make. So in the poker tracker four icon, click that and hit unlock layout. That's going to allow you to click and drag the different HUD elements around the table to get them out of your way. And of course, so they're not covering any elements and just kind of place them where, you know, it's visually appealing for you, where you want to see these various HUD elements. Now, once you've done that, once you've moved it to where you wanted, click the icon once again and hit save layout. Now, these panels are not going to be moving unless you click and choose to move them. What you could do as well, you could lock the layout if you want, but I always keep it unlocked so that I can move it around at a moment's notice. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the panel's covering up some kind of buttons as we're playing and maybe I want to move it up here. So for now, just keep it unlocked. The other thing you want to do is click this button or click the icon once again. Go to change profile and you'll see I have a ton of profiles because I've been creating various HUD profiles for a long time. But the ones that you're going to see as a brand new Poker Tracker 4 user, you're going to see the default HUD, the Inspired by Harrington, the Legacy, the Omaha, the PT3 Classic, and I believe the Professional as well. Um, you could spend some time going through these various HUDs, seeing which ones you like. But of course, today we're on the default HUD. Whichever HUD you end up choosing, you'll want to set that profile as the default for this table type. Once you do this, every time I open up, up a six max table, this HUD will pop up in the exact uh, HUD panel locations where they are right now. So let's talk about the HUD for a little bit. The first element, this little square, is the note editor right here. If you have any notes on your opponents, you type them in here. Down here are the auto-generated notes. So it shows notes that, or it shows hands that went to showdown and how they played those hands pre-flop, how they played it on the turn. If there was any flop actions recorded, how they played that on the flop as well. Gives you a little idea of how your opponents approach their different hands. And of course, what I love is the color coding feature right here. He's a 24-17. I consider that a loose aggressive player. I will give him the orange color. That's my own specific uh, color preference 
to denote loose aggressive players. This play right here, 25-0, loose passive. I mean, it's only been four hands, but he's looking very, oh, let's go, let's look at this guy. 58-1, he V-pips 58% of the time, raises 1%. Very loose passive player. I give them the green color to denote loose passive. So the other elements of the HUD, now this isn't a full HUD tutorial for you. I'm just going over the basics of the default HUD. Once you hover over any stat, it will give you some interesting or important information. First, the player name, Cruzon43, and you can see that's who we're looking at here. Stat, VPIP, or voluntarily put money in the pot. The value is 57.55%. Now that's calculated over 80 times he actually VPIPed over 139 opportunities to do so. And now this session right there, 75% of the time VPIPing, three out of four times against this player. Now over here, PFR, preflop raise, three bet is preflop three bet. CB 100 means C betting the flop. He's done it 100% of the time, but it's only been one out of one opportunities. Here's the player name once again. Now it's always a good idea. If you're before utilizing any HUD stats to exploit an opponent, just make sure that the names match up because sometimes when this player leaves the table and Bob123 comes in, this cruise on HUD will still remain in place maybe for one hand or so. You want to make sure that the names match up so that you're utilizing the correct stat because it's terrible when cruise on leaves and Bob pops up and I don't realize it and this HUD is still here, I might utilize these numbers against the wrong player and make terrible plays, right? Now, uh, this is this number of big blinds. You can see I already have it in big blinds right here. Your display options, you might prefer dollars. So there's your dollars, but I always prefer big blinds. So I keep it under big blinds right here. Now, FCB is fold to flop C bet. He's done it 57% of the time, which is eight out of 14 opportunities. And right here are the number of hands I have on a player. The more hands you have, the more reliable the HUD stats in general. 790 hands against this guy, his numbers are way more reliable than 4 or 17 hands against these players right here. So where can you go to learn a little bit more about the various statistics? Because this might be the first time you've seen VPIP or PFR. Well, let's get back to the Poker Tracker 4 homepage right here. Remember, we were on site configuration before. Go to the Configure menu and Statistics. This is a list of every statistic within Poker Tracker 4, and it's alphabetical. So we could, if we wanted to, scroll down to the Vs and find VPIP right here, or just go somewhere else, type in the name or part of the name from the stat. VPIP, there it is. Once you select it, detailed description, uh, uh, this box contains the definition along with the formula. These are key bits of information that you need to really understand the stat. The formula for this, or well, first, the definition is the percentage of the time that a player voluntarily contributed money to the pot, given that he had a chance to do so. Now that's a critical thing, given that he had a chance to do so. The formula is the number of the times player put money in the pot, divided by the number of hands dealt minus the number of walks. Because if you're in the big blind, everyone folds to you, you don't really want to count that within the VPIP percentage because you didn't have the opportunity to VPIP. They all folded to you. So we've got to remove those hands. So those are two key aspects of the details within voluntarily put money in the pot. And so for any statistic that you want to learn, let's say you don't understand three bet. Well, there's the preflop three bet. Oh, Preflop 3-bet success. Whoa, 3-bet on the river. So many various 3-bet stats to help you differentiate between all of them. Just click on the one that you want to learn first, read up on it, and then switch a different uh, switch to a different 3-bet stat as well. Read that as well, and you can kind of understand the differences between various stats that kind of sound very similar. So we end all of these videos with one or more action steps for you. Today, two action steps. Step one is to play 200 hands today. Of course, make sure you have that get hands while playing feature turned on. This is going to be very useful and necessary to help you get the most out of the day two video tomorrow, where we look at the results tab. Now, the second action step for you is to take notes on statistical information, specifically for the HUD stats within the default Poker Tracker 4 HUD. So you're going to look up VPIP, 
PFR, 3-bet, C-bet flop, and fold to flop C-bet. And when I say take notes right there, totally up to you how you do it. Maybe you have a physical journal that you like to handwrite stuff. Maybe Evernote, maybe Microsoft Word. Totally up to you, but as you're studying, you do want to take notes on everything you study so that while you're playing in the future, you can refer back to them to help you make some pretty good decisions as you're playing. Alrighty, on behalf of Poker Tracker 4, this is Sky Matsuhashi saying thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day two.